how's it going everyone welcome back today i've got a basic tutorial on how to install expressvpn and use it i'll explain a little bit about the features that expressvpn has and of course it's going to be a pretty short video because expressvpn makes it as simple as possible to use there really isn't much to be talking about besides a couple of features and i'll get to those in just a second before we begin if you're interested in expressvpn you can find a link in the description down below it'll give you a bit of an extra discount as well as a full review if you want to learn more details about the privacy policy or speed or streaming and torrenting capabilities as well as security features of Express. So first of all, all you need to do is download ExpressVPN by going to the website itself. Now, obviously, if you're on a desktop, just go to the website, download it and you're good to go. If you're on Android or iOS, go either to the Apple Store or Google Play Store, look up ExpressVPN and just download it from there. Now, when it comes to downloading it from the desktop, you simply want to go to ExpressVPN.com, get your a subscription and from there before you even get your subscription or pay for it you can simply go to products right here and let's say you're downloading it on windows or mac or whatever device you're using it on let's just say windows for this example click and there you go you have your download application right here and the download link and once you download it you're going to get a little folder that shows up here as it downloads so once it's downloaded you can just click it so it'll send you a code if you've already got a subscription and you can just put in that code and you're good to go so it's really straightforward with regards to downloading expressvpn now using expressvpn is just click the button that's it that's how you use expressvpn but just to give you a little bit of an explanation on how expressvpn works and what it's about first of all you have have over 3,000 servers in 105 countries. And 105 countries is a lot. And 3,000 servers is just a little over the industry standard. So you have plenty of servers and countries. So this is a little time saver. In the options here, you have a couple of straightforward features. The only thing that you want to look out for is just the general and protocols tab. So you have some startup options here, which you can just turn the toggle on and off depending on your preference. And you have the network lock and split tunneling. So the network lock is also known as the kill switch, which will cut your internet access if the VPN disconnects unexpectedly. It's unlikely that the VPN will disconnect unexpectedly, but if it does, this will prevent any leaks from getting out of your device, especially if you're in a censorship heavy country. And speaking of censorship heavy countries, the proprietary obfuscation of ExpressVPN is always on by default. So it'll work no matter where you are. It's very easy to use, no configuration needed. Split tunneling will allow you to choose which applications are routed through the VPN and which aren't. So so let's say you want a specific app to use the VPN, leaving the rest of your connection outside the VPN tunnel. You can definitely do that. So for example, Google Chrome and my torrenting client or any other application you can add here. You can do that or vice versa, where you can have specific apps bypass the VPN tunnel while the rest of your connection goes through the VPN tunnel. So this is great if you want to pick which applications use the VPN and which don't, especially if you have a banking app, for example, that needs to see your normal IP to work. So yeah, something like this can be really useful. Now, regarding these handful of protocols, you can set it on automatic and this will work 100% of the time. I choose lightweight UDP because it's usually the fastest protocol, so I stick with that. You can add shortcuts. So once you turn on the VPN, the shortcuts will show up right here. Let's say I want an app or a website shortcut, for example, netflix.com. Netflix will show up right here once I connect my VPN and you can use this tab right here to download the browser extensions. And just FYI, you have nothing to worry about. Just keep these on at all times, unless you want to not share your crash reports, which just helps ExpressVPN better their service, but you can opt out of those if you'd like. So I'd rather just keep them on in case they need to help me troubleshoot something so they can give me some diagnostics here and there. So that's pretty much it. Once you have all that kind of picked and understood, go to locations and choose one of these. I'm gonna go to recommend it. Connect to say the Paris server because I'm near Europe. I'm definitely gonna get faster speeds than connecting to further servers. And I can go to a what is my IP address finder. What is my IP address? There we go. And this is how we can double check that I am indeed connected to the French server and it'll show up as if I'm in France. That's pretty much it. So this is how you can use ExpressVPN. If you're interested in ExpressVPN, you'll find the links in the description down below. That'll save you a little bit of cash as well as a full review, which goes over all the details. And keep in mind, 
mind that Express does have a 30-day money-back guarantee, so it's a risk-free process when it comes to trying out the VPN, no matter which plan you decide to go for, since they're all covered, by the way. And there's also a live chat support available right here in the bottom right if you have any questions. So that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.